so it is another holiday release day and this time it's the turn of Natasha Denona. So Natasha has launched some small gift sets with some favourites really. So the one I've got here is the Baby I Need a Nude set and she also did launch a blush one which I've already got in my collection. So this basically in very similar packaging to this but the blush comes on its own I believe whereas the Baby I Need a Nude comes with a brand new shade in her eyeliner. So I'm going to be trying this one on today along with the Cheek Duo so you can see how these look together. And I've picked up the two coloured tinted lip treatments. These are brand new from the range, the Hyper Gen range I believe. Yeah, that's right. So there's one in clear and there's two coloured. So I've got the two coloured ones to show you today. And I've also got the new High Gen Face Brush which I'll be trying out today for you. So everything pretty much from this collection and I cannot wait to get it started because I absolutely love Natasha Denona. So let's get straight into this video and if you're new here, hi my name's Hannah, I'm 47, not a professional, I'm just somebody who loves makeup and beauty. Here on my channel I like to review the latest products, show you some of my favourite products and looks and give you any beauty news I think you might be interested in. If you think you'd enjoy this sort of content I would appreciate it so very much if you did subscribe, it's very very helpful to my channel and if you could like the video if you enjoy it too that would be great and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. You know how much your support means the absolute world to me, so thank you very, very much. And my skin tone, if that's helpful to any of you, I've got fair to light skin with neutral undertones. So anyway, that's enough about me. Let's get on with this video. So I'm going to start with the Baby I Need a Nude kit. So this one I haven't even opened yet, as you can see. So this is coming with three of the most popular shades according to Natasha anyway, from the I Need a Nude, which is the stunning palette. If you haven't got it in your collection, it really is one worth thinking about. But this could be a good way to see a little sort of peek into the I Need a Nude palette, but this is also such a good idea for holidays or just traveling because they're so good. So that's really why I personally wanted to pick this one up because when I'm going on a short trip, this is ideal, absolutely perfect. And I love the idea of trying the new liner as well. So. Quite excited to try this today. So this kit costs £27 and this launched just a couple of days ago as far as I know. And before I forget, because I always do, I've got a Natasha Denona discount code for you, 15% off Natasha Denona. So I'm going to pop that discount code for you below now. So you can hopefully use that and find it helpful, fingers crossed. So let's open this box up. So here we have the, it's only a mini pencil again, so both would be ideal for travel, wouldn't they? So this is a Macro Tech Eye Pencil, and this shade, it's a taupe. I'll put it on the back of my hand to show you. It's quite a deep shade, so this will work quite well, I think, for a deeper liner, which is what I really prefer to use. And then here is this little mini palette here. So I'll just swatch this one for you. So the first one here is Vague. And the shimmer is called Muse. And the other matte is called Mesh. So there's the three of them. It's going to give a very soft everyday look really. But obviously you're getting a lot of sparkle from this. So I'd say this is very much an everyday look. Not a party look. But it's a nice gift for, for maybe a stocking or just a small gift if you want to give some, somebody something small or you just want to treat yourself to something small for that sort of travel possibility. So these are very user friendly shades aren't they? So I can see this being a popular kit actually. It's a really nice sort of little set. So let's get this straight onto the eyes using the lighter one. I've got my Refa 01, bit of kickback there. So this one is Mesh. So I'm just going to take this now as my transition shade. I don't need to really work out whether or not I like these formulas because I have used the I Need a Nude palette many times and Natasha Denona formulas have never ever, ever <laughs> let me down. So unless there's been some massive change in formula, which there won't have been, I'm not going to have any issues with formula here. It's going to be very, very easy to blend super super quick and easy and also super user friendly so this is a brilliant sort of beginner type of palette if you're starting out with eyeshadows or maybe you just don't have much confidence 
this would be a set that you really couldn't go wrong with. So this colour is not too pigmented, so it's given me a very light base. Like I said, this is going to give me a very basic look. After trying on all these holiday collections recently, which have been so vibrant, it's quite nice actually to have a sort of neutral everyday look for a change. And running this underneath as well using the Rafa number three. And with Rafa 15 now, I'm going to take the deeper shade. This one is called Vague. I think these are just mattes. They don't seem to have that feel of cream to powder. I haven't actually checked up on the formulas of these, but they appear to be just mattes because they don't have the feel of the cream to powder. Well, that's a lovely shade, isn't it? Very much every day. It blends in so quickly. I mean, if you just... If you're trying to go for a quick look, you can just say that's done now, before the sparkle, obviously. I will blend a bit more, but you really could use this so quickly and easily on the everyday. So I do like, actually, when I'm on holiday or going away on a short trip, not to really worry too much about how I do my makeup. So minimal brushes, minimal makeup, but still feeling like I look put together. So this is really perfect for that, actually, because it's so easy. Even if sometimes you don't have nice lighting where you're staying on holiday or in different places. So you worry about how you'll actually look when you get outside because you don't have the right sort of mirrors or lighting. And um, something like this you just can't really go wrong with. That is really nice. I like that a lot. I'm going to take it a little bit higher so I can see it above my crease because I do have hooded eyes. And I want to try and see it above, not just in the crease there. And I'm going to take it out a little bit more here to the outer V area, blending it there. And I'll do the same on the other side. So keeping my eyes open, if you've got hooded eyes, this is the best way to do it, I find. So starting in the crease there like that and building up and then looking straight at the mirror and taking the brush above. So you actually see how it will look when you finish. Because it certainly won't look like that when I close my eye. <laughs> and then with the Rafa 3, running this pretty much all over again. I'm just layering it on top of the other matte. So back in with the Rafa 1 and the lighter matte and just go around the edges, just fluff around the edges really quickly just that it's nice and soft and smooth. No harsh edges, not that I really have any because these two just blend into each other with ease as Natasha Denona formulas do. They are an absolute joy to work with always, which is why nothing Natasha releases is ever a no for me. I will always try them because I love them, unless it was something hideous like I don't know, a red palette. <laughs> I don't think I could deal with that. Anyway, let's go in with this sparkle now. I'm taking this on my finger. So this is really showing that if you took this palette away with you, you would be able to just take two brushes for the eyes. Well, I used three actually, didn't I? I used the Rafa 3, 1 and the 15 mini. But that's not bad for the eyes. Three brushes only and this palette. And then this look every day will go with anything you're wearing because it really is one of those looks that matches with everything. And these sparkles are always so pretty. This is definitely not a sparkle though that gives you full coverage. So what you might want to do is put the matte over the lid itself, maybe the lighter matte, to give your eye a bit more coverage before you add the sparkle. I just wanted, I didn't want to take away from the colour because it does make it a tiny bit darker when you do that, but not much. So that is an option. I do already have um, concealer and powder on my eyes, so I've already covered up sort of purple I have and any sort of discoloration or uneven skin colour, if you know what I mean. So it's already quite even, so I don't really want to change it. I want this light shade on my lids. And then taking the Rafa 15, just sweeping it here through the crease just to blend it together. That really is it, you know. Actually, 
another brush I will be using. <laughs> the 207, if you know me, I use this pretty much every single day of the entire year. And this is the one I'll use to pop a little bit in the inner corner. Not something I can do with my finger easily. And I'm also going to run some underneath the brow. So that's it, a very quick and easy, simple look, but it does need some depth and that's hopefully what I will get now from this new taupe liner. So I'm going to actually start by putting this in my waterline. So that's how that looks in the waterline. It's given me just the right sort of depth, I think, to match this look, which is ideal. But now I'm going to start at the end of the waterline and just bring up a little bit of a wing there on both sides. And then I'm going to start bringing it here to line across the top as well. I'm lining alongside the I'm lining tight to the lashes across the whole of the eye all the way across and I'm using the Rafa 23 brush now to go over this and to just blend it in. It doesn't need an awful lot of blending in. This feels quite a, quite a creamy liner, very easy to apply. And that is absolutely it. I don't want to do anything else. That is a really beautiful, simple look that I, I really like actually. I'll just do the other side of my mascara and then be back to show you the final eye look. So I've gone in with my mascara and that is the final look. Really is a perfect, easy, everyday look, isn't it? but the sparkle does make it feel a bit special. So this also is a really good way if nobody's ever tried Natasha Denona to just try to see how simple and easy but beautiful these formulas are because they really are. I, I don't think there's anything out there as easy and beautiful. Natasha Denona is my top number one when it comes to eyeshadows. So that was always going to be a winner, wasn't it? But anyway, I think that's a really nice kit, I really do. Boring, you might say, but it's going to be popular. Let's face it, this is a look everyone likes to wear. I certainly love to. So uh, there we go. This is the holiday little box from I Need A Nude. It's not called little box, but you know what I mean. That is the holiday kit. Let's move on to the cheek one now. But before I actually go into that, I'm going to show you the brush. So this is the new High Gen Face Brush. This is a dual-ended face and highlighting brush, it says. And this is £45. It feels very solid. It looks very nice, actually. So the description on this says this is ideal to pair with the Hygen Skin Care Infused Glow Beautifier. If you know that, it's like a highlighter and you can use it all over the face with concealer, which I have tried. I haven't done that today because the Cheek Duo comes with a highlight. So I didn't want to have sort of highlighty product because I prefer to use the Beautifier actually as a highlight but it would work well with that to swirl it all over the face if you try that look. And it's a look that works. If you go back through my videos, I actually did that look and it really does work. The Beautifier as my base with the Natasha Denona concealer as instead of putting any sort of foundation on. So this brush can definitely be tried out with that. I can't wait to actually give it another go because it's been a long time now since it launched that I tried that, but it really does work. So a little bit more information about this. This is a vegan brush, shed free fiber technology that mimics the softest real hair. Dense yet soft bristles deliver a streak free application without absorbing product. A versatile brush, perfect for flawless application of all liquid and powder foundations, cream blush and highlighter formulas. So this is a pretty multi-purpose brush and this is the end that is so dense. And then you have this one here, which would definitely work quite well, I think, for powder blush and highlight. So today I'm going to try this with the Cheek Duo. So here is the Cheek Duo. I don't have this in the box. So I'll just pop a picture up now on the screen to show you the box this comes in. Excuse all the prints on this one. So in the little gift box, this is £20 and inside is the well-loved, very popular mini rose cheek duo. And this is called a festive ornament in this case, but I think it's exactly the same case as I've got. So I don't think it's changed when they call it a festive ornament, but it is quite pretty, isn't it? I can see why they might refer to it as that, but it's no different if you've already got this. It looks exactly the same to me. 
So this comes with a very popular cream blush and it comes with this highlighter. It's actually saying here that it's a, an award-winning highlighter. So again, another perfect stocking filler or little gift to give somebody. I'm going to try this out since it says it can be used for powder and cream. I'm not sure about using this brush for the cream. I think I would only go in with this one and it is a bit big maybe but I'm going to try it because this is that cream to powder sort of finish so I really swirled into that quite a lot and that's how much I've got on the brush and now I'm going to tap it on now I know that I love this one it's very very nice yeah so the brush is working fine I, had, I do actually have a bit of powder on already so this isn't a cream going onto a cream it's a cream going onto a powder which shows that this is a versatile um, blush so you can put it, oh that's so pretty isn't it, so pretty, I haven't used it in a while but it is a beautiful blush. But it works well on top of creams and powders so very versatile but completely dry once it's set down because it's that cream to powder formula. It's such a pretty colour isn't it, it really is, I mean this would suit every skin tone I'm sure, it's so pretty. And yes the brush is working absolutely fine. I did actually want to use this to test it for foundation but I wanted to keep it nice and clean for this review and to show you it with the blush. It's done a very good job actually, I really like that. Now this blush could be built up a bit more than that, I'll put a tiny bit more on but I really don't want to do any more. And a very realistic look, that's something I would wear myself so I wouldn't apply this any more than that. I want it to be quite a very, it is very real isn't it, it's a very real flush like you've just been out running or out in the cold. I love that. It is one of the prettiest blushes, honestly. I forget how nice things are because I'm trying out so many things for review. So it's been a long time since I've used this. I remember liking it a lot, but it really is a beautiful one. And this brush is working perfectly. It doesn't feel hard because I am stamping rather than rubbing because I don't want to take my base off. And it doesn't feel hard. The bristles do feel soft, which is really good. I can see this being quite good with foundation for sure. It's the right sort of shape and it feels soft enough. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out. So when I eventually get around to doing some sort of update video, which is very delayed at the moment here on my channel with all these Christmas releases, I will let you know how I'm getting on with this brush. I quite like these dual ended ones, you know. I started really enjoying them. They're really good to sort of keep on my desk, to keep a number of them so I can just quickly pick it up and switch between the two. Also really good for travel. When I went on holiday recently, the only brushes I took pretty much were dual-ended because it just saves on packing, but they're also really handy and you don't have to search for the other brush because <laughs> you've already got it on your, on the other end. So yeah, really like that. And seeing as it's giving me that sort of flushed look, I think what I'm going to do is just go like this across the nose, sort of continue that little pop of pink. Not a lot, just what's left on the on the, on the brush. So that's how the blush looks. Very happy with it, already knew I would be. And the brush, perfect. Really like that, looking forward to using this more. And that's exactly what I'll be doing now when I flip to the other side to use this side to apply the highlight. It is a bit big for me for a highlight brush, but let's give it a go. I think it worked actually. Depends how you like to apply your highlighter, whether you want to just have a little bit in a more of a fine line like you can with a fan brush, but that worked absolutely fine. And certainly, like I said, when I was on holiday, I was using the double-ended Mario brush for all my face, and that included highlights, and I found it absolutely fine. I didn't take any fan brushes with me for that, so again very holiday in mind as in holiday travel in mind I think so if you were if you were going away for Christmas as well or just having a few days away somewhere seeing family or doing something this brush and these two little things would be perfect the eyeshadow and the blush duo tiny to pack but you'd feel so put together because look at that as a final look I think that is beautiful take a little bit of the highlight down the nose and over the cupid's bow. So that's it. The cheek duo. It is so pretty isn't it? 
Honestly, anyone you know that doesn't have these will be delighted to have these two as presents. They really were. I can see so many of my friends being over the moon with these two. I think they are really beautiful together. Anyway, let's move on to the product that's completely new that I have never tried. So this will be my first time trying and that is the new lip treatment. So I've only got the tinted, as I said at the start. You can get three of these. The first one is clear and then they've got these two coloured. So I'm trying to decide which one will be my final look. This one's more pinky and this one's more purpley. I think I'll go with that one as my final look, I think. So I'll start with this one. So this is called the High Gen Tinted Lip Mask Everyday Hyaluronic Acid Lip Nourishment. And obviously I have to read this from my notes because I could never remember that any of that. And these are £25 and you get the three shades Berry Bliss, Candy Apple and Baby Nude. So the nude is the one I didn't get. So it says here this is extending the High Gen Hybrid Generation Collection. So Natasha is introducing this high gen tinted lip mask, which is an everyday hyaluronic acid lip nourishment mask with a vegan and alcohol free formula, which adds a beautiful natural tint and a juicy full finish to the lips. This is a must have lip innovation, which doubles as a pampering lip treatment. It offers ultra comfortable all day wear and a buttery smooth sensorial experience, leaving your lips feeling nourished, plump and irresistibly soft. So as somebody who wears lip balm and lip gloss every single day, I put lip balm on my lips probably five, six times at least during the day. And especially now we're moving into the cooler months. The heating has gone on in my house and I'm noticing I'm applying it even more. So I'm more than happy to be trying this one out. So the first one I'm trying is the candy apple. So I'll show you the bottle before I start. I really like these sorts of tips. They're very comfortable on the lips. Let me show you actually how it looks so you can see exactly how it is when it comes out. It looks pretty pigmented that, doesn't it? So let's try it on. So obviously, as you would expect from a lip treatment, it's shearing out straight away. So don't be put off by that color thinking it's super bright. So this is very light. If you have, for instance, the Olay Henriksen um, peptide lip treatments, they're my number one lip treatments. I love them, highly recommend those. This is probably a third of the thickness of that. It feels very lightweight. I actually prefer the thicker ones. So I'm not saying I don't like this. It feels very comfortable and the Ole Henriksen ones aren't tinted, so I'm not getting that tint. This is probably a little bit closer to the Summer Fridays um, lip treatment. And there's, some of those are tinted, aren't they, I think? I forget which ones. Which one am I using at the moment? It's the Road Beauty, I think, yeah. It's quite similar to the Road as well, which is called the Peptide Lip Tint, but it's still a bit lighter. A bit lighter than the road and a bit lighter than the summer Fridays. By lighter I mean a bit uh, not quite as thick. So if we were going to give it three levels of thickness this would be one, these would be two and the Ole Henriksen would be three. S more similar to I find like lip mask like the Laneige lip mask. That's, that's how thick the Ole Henriksen one is. Honestly it's worth grabbing one of those. They are so good. But this is very comfortable. This is definitely something that can it, I would have to reapply it more often than things like the Ole Henriksen so it depends what you prefer so I can't say it would go straight to my number one already because of that but it is still very comfortable I feel like my lips are already eating it up because they're quite dry so I'm adding a little bit more but anyway that's how that looks so it's giving me a little pop of pink not a lot of color but a sort of natural flush I'd say so this is the apple the candy apple it is pretty. I will pop a note below as I edit this to let you know how this lasts. So by the time I edit this, it will be probably about an hour and a half after this. So I'll let you know if it's still there or have I topped up. But it just, it does feel a bit like it's not there to me. But my lips feel hydrated, if that makes sense. Really, really lightweight. And there's no scent. I'm not picking up on any scent from this one. Hi everyone, thought it would be easier to just stop here and let you know that after two hours I definitely needed to top up with this. It did last me past my first meal, so it lasted a reasonable amount of time considering I've eaten and I've had a drink. 
but two hours later it definitely wore off but do keep in mind i have exceptionally dry lips so it might last a bit longer on you so i'll quickly remove this and try the next one so this one is called berry bliss so let's see how this this looks really dark but i'm sure it'll be equally sheer See there on my lips now before I blend it out it gives you an idea of how light it is it is quite almost watery it's not running down my lips I couldn't apply this one blind because look you see how it's collecting there I think I could quite easily go outside my lips with this one I mean, without me doing too much, it seems to have gone on the lips quite well, but I think I'd be a tad nervous to apply this on the lips blind without checking in a mirror <laughs> that it might have smudged outside because it doesn't have that sort of grip. I'll put some on my hand actually so you can see what the texture's like. So there it is. Hopefully that gives you a slightly better idea. So it's, it's not like runny runny, it's just not super thick. So that is Berry Bliss. They are really, really nice, but I can tell you now, as you've probably guessed, I won't be reaching for them in the same way I do as my favorite, but I will definitely switch over to these for the time being. So I'll, tr I'll put these right next to me. So when I'm working, I'm always looking for a lip balm. So I'll use these instead and I can let you know how I'm getting on with them and whether it's keeping the um, dryness from my lips because my lips are really struggling as I said with the heating going on so it'd be interesting to see just how good this is is it working in the same way other treatments like the Ole Henriksen one does on me so I'll let you know anyway that's the shade of Berry Bliss I think that one's quite nice with this look I think it's the better shade to go for and I think this look doesn't necessarily need a big bold lip I think that's fine. You could obviously go for a more bold lip, but I think that that works quite well with it. So this entire sort of set, this with the two kits is, is a very nice, easy everyday look, a very quick put together look, but I feel really happy with the overall finish. So a lovely set from Natasha. I can't really complain about anything. As I said, I knew I wouldn't be because I already knew I loved the formulas. Both the eyeshadow and the cheek duo, absolutely beautiful. Cannot recommend these any more highly. They are easily 10 out of 10s for me. And the eyeliner, 10 out of 10. Very easy to apply. Very, very easy, very creamy. Perfect shade, perfect fit with this eyeshadow. I've kept it on my hand to see what the sort of longevity is like. And this is looking quite promising, isn't it? <laughs> There we go. I'm giving it a really hard rub now and it's still there. So there we go. Longevity is excellent. So they're everything I need really. Can't complain at all. The lip treatments, because I prefer a thick lip treatment, I would probably be giving this one more like an 8 out of 10. But you might prefer lightweight ones and then it'll be perfect. So it's very comfortable. I think the amount of colour is just right. So for what it claims to be, it is 10 out of 10. But for me, very personally now is just eight because of not being thick and grippy but um yeah i like the ingredients and i like the color and i like the feel so these could also work quite well you know on top of lipsticks which is something i like to do a lot with gloss so it's quite nice when you've actually got things like the hyaluronic acid going in because you know you're treating your lips rather than just putting gloss on so that's another way i'll probably use these i might keep one next to me throughout the day and one on my desk here and then when I put, say, a matte lipstick on, I will add one of these as well. So that's another way that I would probably prefer to use it because that's not where I want a really thick, thick layer. I would prefer a thin layer like this. So it could come into its own there. So I'll definitely try that. And I will be giving you a review, like I said, with the brush. I'll use the brush more. I'll use these more. And I will give an update review at some point. I might have to do a September slash October update because of all the Christmas releases that are coming out. So sorry if you're waiting for my update video, it's a bit delayed because of all these Christmas releases. But anyway, that is it from me for today. So I really hope you've enjoyed this. I would love to hear your thoughts. Are you picking up any of these little gifts from Natasha or trying the new lip treatment and this new brush, which is fabulous actually. And 
what are your thoughts? I think it's a nice little collection. I don't think that'll be the end of it. If you remember last year, we did get that extra palette come in quite late. Was it in November? What's it, what was it called? I'm so bad at names. You know, the silver one, the silver midi palette, the Xenon palette, I've remembered. <laughs> and we may be getting one of those midi palettes before Christmas. I have heard we could be getting one in sort of rose wood shades. Was it rose wood or ro certainly rose was the theme that I've heard anyway. So hopefully that will be coming for us and we will get one more before Christmas. So if you're thinking about what to buy from Natasha Zanona for Christmas, these little sets I think are much more gifts for other people or a little treat for yourself, especially for travel. And something will be coming later, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think it will. Fingers crossed, anyway, hopefully. <laughs> Anyway, that's it from me for today. And if you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. It's super helpful to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, as you know, I appreciate every single one of you so very much. Every time you comment, every time you watch or like, honestly, I really enjoy communicating with you and getting to know you. I've, I love it. So thank you all very much. And I hope to see all of you for my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.